Midwest on election night in America. I'm Jenny Day with this local news break. And I'm Brandon Mejia. Voting centers in Yuma close at 7 p.m. That means you have less than two hours to still vote in person. Speaking of which, reporter Cody Lee joins us from the Yuma Civic Center tonight with the latest. Cody. Brandon, Jenny, I spoke with the county communications director. He's telling me there's not been any issues around the 11 polling sites in town. And according to the county, lines haven't been very long throughout the day. But where I'm at right now, as you can see, the lines are out the door. And it's been picking up. And about 20 minutes ago, this is what it's look like, looking like. This is what it's looking like now. And around this hour, people are getting off of work. So this could cause longer wait times. So visit the social media pages on Yuma County to get that updated info. Let's get to the Senate, Senate race now. The winner will fill the rest of John McCain's term that he won in 2016. Senator McSally claims she is your Second Amendment senator and will back President Trump on his immigration policies. Her opponent, Mark Kelly, says his experience in the Navy and as an astronaut informed his desire to solving problems in a time of crisis. We've been out there fighting for every last vote and we'll still be doing it till seven o'clock tonight. Yuma, I'm asking for your vote. It's been an honor to be your fighter, fighting for lower taxes and a strong economy and protecting our freedoms and our safety and security. But your choice today, if you haven't voted yet, it's not about me. It's not about whether you like an astronaut or a fighter pilot. This is about you. I announced in February of 2019 and got to spend the first half of the campaign traveling all across the state, 15 counties, a lot of tribal communities, talking to voters about the issues that they care about that often Washington, D.C. has failed them on. I'm committed to uh, working on these issues in an independent way. Uh, not beholden to a political party or some big corporation. And later on tonight, I will be focusing on two other federal races, District 3 and District 4. We'll have more coverage later on. Stay